Hi guys, how you doing? It's me Sam. I thought I'd do a little video lesson today talking about a couple of things. I thought I'd show you a bit of a blues lick and I thought I'd also do a side lesson talking about numbering notes in a scale. So I bet a lot of you know about this already. I'll put a little link that you can click to get to the blues lick here. But for those of you who are interested, I'm sure you've seen lessons on YouTube before talking about notes having numbers. So I want to take some of the confusion out of this today. So let me just sort of bring us in a little bit here. Okay, there we go. Right then. So let me play you a major scale. So hundreds of years ago, uh, classical composers considered the major scale to be superior. And that's why it's got nice numbers. So if I numbered the notes of this scale, they're super nice. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One is, of course, the octave of the first. Okay, if I do two octaves, we've got one or the root, you can call the one the root as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Okay, so there's the major scale, super nice. Now, me, I'm more of a dirty rock player who uses uh, pentatonic scales more than I use the four diatonic scales. So the major pentatonic you can think of as a condensed version of that. It's a five note version, pent meaning five, pentatonic. Okay, so two notes I've gotten rid of immediately. So what are those notes? I've gotten rid of the four and the seven. So where are those notes? Let's find them. So one, two, three, four, that's gone. That's no longer in my major pentatonic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's also gone. So with my major pentatonic, I've got this. I've got root, two, three, five, six, root, two, three, five, six, root. Okay? And I just love the sound of that. way more my cup of tea, personally. Uh, we can do the same with the minor scale. I bet all of you, or most of you, will know of the minor pentatonic, but maybe some of you won't know its bigger brother, the natural minor. Let's have a look at the natural minor. Sounds like this. <laughs> aren't quite as nice on this one and uh, reason being is you know the nice numbers are in the major scale and I don't have the same notes in the minor scale. Uh, check it out we've got the root that is the same as the major scale we've got the two that is the same as the major scale but the next note here that is what you'd call the flat three Reason being, if I do my major scale, one, two, three, if I flatten that, you get this note here. And that's what we've got. We've got the flat three. So continuing, so one, two, flat three, four. The four's the same as my major scale, as is the five. And then I've got this note. Oh, no, I missed one. So then I've got the flat six. Again, if I do my major scale and flatten the six, it will be the same note. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I flatten that, I get that. Okay, and then we've got the flat seven, and back to the root. Okay. Okay, 
Now the, na uh, the natural minor, if I condense it, if I lose two notes, I get the minor pentatonic. So the minor pentatonic is the one that we all know and love. <laughs> much more rock and roll. So, let's see, we've lost two notes, we've lost the two and the flat six. Let's find those notes. One, two. Say goodbye to the two, it's not in our minor pentatonic. Uh, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six. That's gone, okay? So those notes are no more. Root, flat three, four, five, flat seven, root, flat three, four, five, flat seven, root. Okay? Yeah. My favourite. Right then. Let me show you a lick today as well. I'm going to show you a blues lick, which is largely based on the pentatonic scale, but I'm adding some chromatic notes. So check this out. I'm going to play this lick for you a couple of times to get it into your ears. Okay. Okay, so what have we got here? This is based on the minor pentatonic, and I'm just putting some chromatic notes. Chromatic meaning notes which are next door to the good notes. Okay, so I'm actually starting on the two, going back to my numbering thing. This is the second note in the major scale. Uh, I'm picking that note. And the rest of that phrase is legato. I really like legato phrases because it gives you a strong fretting hand. I used to love playing pretty much all legato licks for the first couple years of my sort of guitar journey, legato was king for me. And the picking stuff came later. Okay, so that's what we've got there. So the next part sounds like this. Okay, this is all pentatonic. So let me do that real slow. Let me put those two pieces together. Okay, nice and slow. For bonus points, you can put a rake in there. Okay, the next bit, I've got the flat five. That's a note that I haven't talked about yet today. If I do my major scale, one, two, three, four, five. If I flatten that, you get that rather evil sounding note. metal and all of the good genres. Okay, so this section here, I'm going on the flat five there, and I'm pulling off and back on the root. To put these together. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do something funny now. I'm going to incorporate some notes from the major scale. Now, blues is a funny genre where you can you can really blend the minor and the major effectively. I think it's quite rare that you can find a genre where you can do that, but blues is one of them for sure. So the next phrase, I'm going to go from the flat three to the major three. Okay, so the flat three is in your minor scale. One, two, flat three, and the major three the major scale. And back to the root. And bonus points for rakes. As always. 
nice. Okay. And just not very much picking, mostly legato. Okay, we're about halfway. So the next thing, I'm going to go over to the A string. I'm going to go uh, fret seven, just pulling off there. And again, that's the flat five right there. So, so far. shifting down here. Uh, now this is really similar to this. Right? Again I'm going from the flat three to the major three. Okay, so put it together. Okay, so the next bit. Then so I've got fret four, pulling that off to two. Okay, and then over here, this is the octave of what we did to begin with. So put it together. I went too far. home stretch here. Uh, just there. Okay. There we go. And if you're equipped with a whammy bar type guitar, I like to just maybe drop that a little bit. I dropped my pick and it's gone into an alternate dimension. There it is. So putting the whole thing together here. 